Hi, I'm Grant Wagner from Bone Signer Implement Company. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an adaptive curve in a Gen 4 display. First thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the guidance page. There's a couple different ways to get there, but in this example, it is on our shortcut bar. From here, you're going to want to go to set track, new track, and you will find the adaptive curves under the curve track tab. Here it's going to prompt you to enter a name as well as tie it to a client farm and field. You can select OK. Now you're ready to start recording your curve. To create your line, position your machine in the field where you would like to begin and then you can select record line to start jettering a guidance line. You can change this recording trigger by going into your advanced settings and finding your recording trigger state. By changing your recording trigger from manual to either auto track or work state, it will start generating a guidance line based off of your selection. In work state, it will start recording when your implement is either put on the ground or it will stop recording when it's raised. For this example, we will keep it in manual record since I do not have an implement attached. It does give you the option to create a straight line by using this icon here. It will snap a line from the time you select it to the time you deselect it. This is helpful when there's an obstacle in the field that you'd like to maneuver around but don't want to replicate that curve. At this point, you're ready to start recording your line. We will select start recording and begin driving. Once you have come to the end of your desired line, select the stop recording button and it will stop building a line. If you have it in work state, once you raise the implement, it will automatically stop recording. Now we can turn around and begin auto tracking on that line. You can now see a guidance line has been generated parallel to our recorded line. To begin auto tracking on that line, we want to toggle on our auto track and flip on our auto tracker zoom switch. You will now see that we are able to begin auto tracking with a full pie. If you would like another parallel line recorded next to this line, you want to start recording again. Remember that this will automatically start recording if your recording trigger is set to your work point or auto track. Thanks for watching today's video. Please refer to our YouTube channel for more auto tracking tips.